Hello community! Today we have a topic, is Llama 3 really horrible? Let's talk about this. Now, just as a short reminder, it's a beautiful weekend, please relax, and we want to have some fun today. So I just want to repeat, today is about fun, but of course fun based on real data. Now, for legal reasons, I want just to be absolutely clear. Today is about fun and enjoying. And it is not about pure logical insight into a complex topic. So please do not comment right now. Thank you. And now we can go on. And let's start with a simple prompt. What is entropy? The task is explain it using only words that starts with an A or with a T. And today we focus on Llama 370B, the biggest Llama 3 model we have, and we have the instruction tuned one. And here you have the answer. Now, if you compare this to the beauty and elaborate answer of a GPT-4 Turbo, you see that the answer by GPT-4 Turbo is much more scientifically sound. However, those people that voted here on lmsys.org, they thought that Llama 370B Instruct provides a better answer. Now, of course, those people were wrong. This brings us now to the idea, do humans value here those friendly and happy LLMs favorable? So let's look at criteria like a more positive tone a more friendly answer, a more conversational style in your conversation with your LLM. And LLM says, looked at this in detail, and I think this is great that they did this. And they see here that all those traits, positive, friendly, and conversational, appear more in the winning battles of LLM 370B and less in the losing battles. It is not really significant, this difference, but they say those traits might play a role in the competitive success and their influence require further exploration. So humans are now tricked because the LLM was trained to be friendly and positive to value those non-performant LLMs in a better way. So how can we cope with this? How can we validate this? Now, easy. We define seven criteria for the difficulty of prompts. We go for specificity, for domain knowledge, for complexity, for problem solving, for creativity, technical accuracy, and real world applications. And those are our criteria and nothing else. And then we look at the performance. So at the X axis, we have here how many of those criteria are met. All criteria are met, we are here. Only one is met, here. And then we look at four models. Gemini 1.5 Pro, Cloud 3 Opus, GP4 Turbo, and Llama 370B Instruct here in Lila. And you see it goes down and down and down and down. So this means the more complex, the more technical the prompts become, the performance goes down. However, look at the other models. GP4 Turbo. It starts below Alama 370B Instruct for one criteria. It even goes further down, but then there's a threshold so between four and five criteria, and it just jumps up, and the harder the prompts get, the more difficult it is to solve them. Now those model shines. So there seems to be a sweet spot between four and five of those criteria where the models go down. Here in blue, Gemini 1.5 Pro. Only Claude 3 Opus is different. It also starts and goes down, but then it just jumps up significantly. Look at this. Now, this particular characteristics of this specific LLMs I have never seen before. This is something absolutely fascinating. So let's look if we can deduct something from this experimental data. And yes, we come back and I have a wild guess that uses that use LLMs chatbot arena only test here for simple questions. Those users are not prepared with a clear catalog of questions. They have not prepared their prompts ranked 
according to the complexity level they want to ask. They have not thought about exactly what they want to test for, but some users here, those humans, you know, they just stand there and type something in like 3.3 3 is what? So maybe it is all the fault of the users who test only for simple questions. Now let's look at this in detail. So if we have here our beautiful Llama 370B instruct model, and look, it has a better performance than all other models, if we just have to meet one criteria, be friendly. And this is great that we have an LLM that kind of mimic here a human friendly behavior. But what about performance? It ends up completely different, as you can see. But you know what? Now, taking the evaluation data, I had a wild guess. In this particular area, the Lama 370B Instruct wins, but primarily in the trivial range, because it is friendly and nice and mimics this human behavior. Is this the reason why people tend to give, give a better score to Lama 3 Instruct? And how big is this error compared to, to the overall area? Is it really maybe 70%? I don't know. Now let's look at the data here. And this is here from the 8th of May, 2024, the last update I have recording this video. And Lama 370B Instruct is on place number six in the leaderboard. And now the question is, is this really the correct placement for a Lama 370B Instruct? Now we have to factor in the behavior of the human tester who used just simple questions. But the question is now, should we give them the same gravitas as people who have really thought about and asked complex questions? We will answer this a little bit later on. Now let's look at the hard end of this graph. If we go here to complexity 5 plus, we see that here at top we have GPT-4 Turbo, then we have here Gemini 1.5 Pro, then we have Claude 3, and then sometimes comes Lama 370B. So you see, it changes completely, and Lama 3 loses here significantly in the complex range. But of course, it's just a 70B model. Interesting will be when Lama 3 comes up with a 400B model. How will it scale? But more about this in my next video. But what about this blue tank area here? It's just valid with 30%. But for a user like me, I like to test causal reasoning. I have heart problems that I want to get answers from my AI. I want a causal reasoning structure that my AI is able to perform and not just be friendly. So I think this is a very interesting point. And also if we read about the win rate between top models, is the win rate of a Lama 370B really tested against equivalent models or tested against models that are more or less from their size? This question was not answered. And yeah, I would like to show you here the original study. It was done by lmsys.org. Great read. Have a look at this. And they asked themselves, hey, what's up with Lama 3? And they did a data analysis on their internal data. So we can't do this as user. But they give us here this data and these insights on all my graphs are from lmsys.org. So interestingly, and they thought, hey, maybe we have to take care about some effects to some certain time. Now you might say, what are people asking? What is the topic that people ask for? And how does it perform? And here from this study, you see here at 0.5, so at 50%, you see here, Lama 370B outperforms better than 50%. And here in this area, Lama 370B loses more than 50%. A very simple graph. Now let's look at the topics here. Where does Lama 3 win against its theoretically from the same class of model competitors? Data processing. If you put in 
3 plus 3 equal 5 or a similar figure? This is data processing. Brainstorming, interesting. Poetry, wow. I don't know what is literary prose, but more about this a little bit later on. You see, this here is where Lama 3 excels. This is where Lama 3 wins. This is where you should use Lama 3. So if you go for a smaller model, like a 70B model, this is where they have an exceptional performance. This is your area that you can apply a Lama 3 model. However, if you go for coding, if you go for logical reasoning, common sense, reading comprehension, if you go for a translation or anything with math or summarization, summarization is the worst part that Lama 3 is able to do, you see that here Lama 3 loses significantly to its competitors from the same class. This is interesting because this is a level of insight we did not have before this study. And it shows you really, really in a nice way. And I quote here, Lama 3 beats other top ranking LLMs on open-ended writing tasks, primarily poetry, brainstorming. And yeah, what is literally prose? It distinguishes itself by prioritizing artistic expression and a deeper level of engagement with the reader. This kind of writing is typically found in works intended not just to inform or entertain, but also to be appreciated as an art form. So those are the topics that Lama 3 excels, where you should use Lama 3. And it is interesting now with this level of detail from the evaluation data, we get now this deeper insight. And I think this is great that lmsys.org published this and yeah, I thought, I would like to show you this for your work that you can focus more on models that are performant in the task that you have to do that are essential for your performance and for your work. And so, yeah, here we have it. Today, I hope we had some fun and we had some fun about some pure logical insight into a complex topic of evaluating large language models. It would be great to see you in my next video.